In this video, you'll see how to use the length of stay predictor for the real-time interference as well as the batch transformation job. Today I'll show you how to subscribe to this model and how to use the model into your environment. Now you can check under the usage information we have given the model input and output details. So basically our length of stay is a model that will take patient's clinical data as well as the patient's vital information like BMI, pulse, etc at the time of the admission in the hospital. The purpose of this model is to predict how many days the patient will stay at the hospital. You can see all the input details here, like the required fields to create the prediction, and in which format and type of data we are accepted for this model. You can also download that sample data. After you download the data, next we have provided the sample notebook that will give you the whole procedure to use this model in your AWS infrastructure. So I have downloaded both the data and the Jupyter Notebook. After you have downloaded that file, we move to the AWS console. Here to use and run that sample notebook, I'm using the service AWS SageMaker. You can see that I have one notebook instance and that is running so you have to open that notebook. The length of stay model folder is already created. So once you create that folder, you'll get the option of upload. Click on the upload and you'll be asked for the file. You can select the file and open it. It will upload the files to your folder. I have already uploaded the sample notebook and the sample input data that are required for our model predictions. Now open the sample notebook. Here are the steps that mention what you have to do, and how to use this model. Basically, we need Amazon account access with this permission. Using IAM role, you can create that. Once you have the service access, you have to subscribe this model. Open that model package into the AWS Marketplace listing, and once you open that page, you will get a page for subscription and the option to continue to subscribe. Click on the Continue to Subscribe and you'll see the Accept Offer page, and after that it will ask for the configuration and you'll be given the option to which region you want to use and you will get a product ARN. Here you can see the option to accept offer. I am accepting this offer so now you'll be able to subscribe to this model into your account. Now the Continue to Configuration button is now enabled. Click on that button and you'll see that there are three launch methods that AWS Marketplace is providing. So let's say I'm selecting the AWS command line interface. Now you choose which version and region you want. For demo purposes, I'm selecting the Mumbai region. Next, choose real-time interference or the batch transformation. Then it is completed and you'll scroll up to the product ARN. Just copy and paste it into the model package here. Now I'll show you how to use this model into your account. Run this and it'll create a bucket where we store all of our data. So I've created the bucket that is named SageMaker AP South. Once it is created, you can go under the Amazon SageMaker service, under the interference category and select the model packages under the marketplace subscription. Now length of stay predictor model is created. From here, you can also check the ARN. The S3 bucket is also available when you search. Next, we'll create an endpoint and perform a real-time interference under the Amazon SageMaker. Configure the model name, content type, and instant type, and you can run this cell to create the endpoint. If you jump back to Amazon SageMaker, you will notice that the endpoint status is creating.
After two to three minutes, our endpoint status moves to in service. And you'll notice on Jupyter Notebook, the cell now has a completed run. To perform a real-time interference, now we have an endpoint name and a file we have to pass, so we're ready to move on. We have already the single row file inside the current folder. So I'll show you this file. So this is the sample input data that we're given as input to the model. To perform a real-time interference, I'm running this cell so it will invoke our model and it will create an output CSV file into the current folder. Next, to do a batch interference, please follow the steps that are mentioned here and the output file from the S3 bucket path will be located here. Thank you for taking your time to view this demo.